Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be reviewing the new Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadows. These did come out a couple of weeks ago and I'm now just getting to them. But spoiler alert, I love these. If you want to hear my thoughts and why I love these, then just keep watching. <laughs> Alright, so some major facts about this product. It is $29. I personally bought these off of Beautylish, but you can get them on the Hourglass website as well. Comes in five shades. Lucky for you, I have all five shades. So how they describe it on the website is a weightless refined glitter eyeshadow. It's a unique hybrid cream formula which creates reflective buildable dimension from a delicate glimmer to an intense prismatic finish. So they're claiming that it's buildable. So buildable and weightless. It glides across lids and dries down for smooth, comfortable wear. So really quickly, let's go over the packaging of this guy. So they come in these small little pots here that you see. They're plastic. They're not glass, which I'm surprised by because it's hourglass. But I mean, I don't mind the plastic. It's just it's hourglass. So I would have expected it to be a little bit more like, I don't know, luxurious. But it, I mean, it's still nice. You just have the hourglass logo and it's just a little pot. Doesn't bother me. So then you open it up and what I think is really nice about the packaging of these guys is you have this little um, plastic thingy <laughs> in here and what it does is it helps press down the formula which is very important to have for a formula like this and then of course you have the product. So really quickly let's go over the colors that they offer. So this first one here is the one that I'm wearing. This is the shade foil which is a beautiful gold color. Like I said, this is the one that's all over my lid right now. Really pretty. And then we have the shade Aura, which is a pink color. Really beautiful. Wore this the other day. If you're into more pink tone shades, I think you're really going to love this, like pink sparkly lids. Then we have Reflect, which is a champagne color. I think this is the most universal color that a lot of people are going to love. We have Smoke, which is more of a taupe color. Again, really pretty. If you're into more cool tone looks, this is really nice. And then the last color that we have here is Blaze, which is a copper color. And really beautiful, really warm, really lovely for the summer. So let's talk about the formulation of this product. Now initially I thought these were going to be like the Tarte Chrome paints, which I am in love with, but these are actually a complete different formula. Um, so the Tarte is a lot more creamy, packed with pigment. It's not the same with the Hourglass. Now the Hourglass is made kind of with a more wearable formula in that you can build it up, which is what it claims online. And it's really true. You can get a little bit of glimmer or you can build it up. This one on my eye is a little bit more built up. But generally speaking, these are a much more wearable formula than the uh, Tarte. So I'm just gonna show you a quick comparison. So I think the most similar colors that we have here are foil and Park F Princess. First one I'm going to swatch on my arm is Foil from Hourglass. So I just ran my finger through it a couple times and so that's Foil. And now I'm going into Park F Princess, which I can't even open. Oh my gosh, I was opening it the wrong way. And so, yeah. As you can see, a much more foiled, creamy formula. So if you're going for more of that crazy, metallic, foiled look, then definitely go with the Tarte. But if you want something a little bit more wearable, a little bit more glitter and shimmer based rather than foiled based, you will like the Hourglass more. So like I said, complete different formula. So I mean, that's basically really sums up the formula. These are wearables. Their shade selection also is much more wearable than the Tarte. All of these are really gorgeous colors that I think any Body would like. I would like to see a little bit more color to their line of these guys, but I mean, that was the idea, is that they were choosing wearable colors. Not super foiled, but definitely packed with a little bit more shimmer and glitter in them. If you do like a subtle 
glitter eye, I think this is a good way to go. Rather than, you know, the Stila glitter and glows, these are a little bit more subtle, but still really pretty when they hit the light. And also, wear time on these is absolutely amazing. I've worn these on like three, four different occasions, and every time my eyeshadow did not crease at all, which is actually pretty rare for me. I always have creasing on my eye makeup just because that's the way the folds of my eyes work. It is what it is. I really weird, weird creases. But yeah, I never notice any creases with these. They wear a long time. They keep their shine. They keep their opacity. They're really, honestly, lovely products. The quality of these are amazing. And what I like most about these is you can create a super fast look with these. All you need is a crease shade and then pop these on the lid with your finger, which yes, for application, use your finger for these guys. That's the best way. If you want just a light shimmer over your look, put a base color down and then put a light layer of this on your eyelid. Or you can do like me, put your bronzer in your crease and then layer this guy on for a really pretty look that was really simple. So today I just used a random brown from like my Norvina palette in the crease, just that one color, and then I popped this hourglass and foil on my lid and it was stunning. So honestly, that's all I can really say about these guys. They're just really good. They're a little bit more powdery than the Tarte Chrome paints, a little bit more of a subtle glimmer compared to the Stila Glitter and Glows. And they're just all around really gorgeous. Their color selection was very good for these five. Very wearable, very user-friendly, wear time's amazing, and they do exactly what they claim. So I have no complaints about this product. Totally recommend them to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video and comment down below with any questions you may have. And also, I just filmed a review comparison on the IT Cosmetics CC Cream, the new one. So if you are interested in that, I will link it down below. And yeah, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day, guys. Bye.